What's up, everybody? <laughs> Life over W84 here. All right. Um. So my first ever bad trip. Uh, that was 2000 November 2009, and it was at my second rave that I have ever ever been to. Um, it was called the Fuzzy Festival, and like Showtech was gonna be there. Simon Patterson, I remember. Who else? Vandalism. Like Castlevania, it's some I don't know that pretty much those people, and uh, and um, so I ended up going to the rave. Um, my mind state was actually that I was just gonna roll, like I had a couple, a few pills on me or some shit, and uh, I remember even thinking like I don't even want to fry, like I don't want to take acid, I'm like nah, like not I don't know, I just didn't want to because I remember people were talking about, it, so I was like nah, nah, nah. But um, and anyways, I ended up getting there and I ended up frying. 30 minutes before I even got in. <laughs> so as I'm walking in, I start feeling kind of like funny. Well, I, I thought I was, I thought I was just kind of feeling high, like, cause we had smoked a bowl and a bowl. <laughs> and, um, I, I don't know. I just felt like, Oh my God, I'm pretty stoned. But then I started realizing like, nah, I start feeling kind of like giggly and like, um, I don't know, just like different. And, I remember even tripping out, like thinking, like, God damn, that building is like so is so tall, <laughs> and it's one of those buildings, like, like that that is like made out of. It looks like it's like just pure glass on the side. You know what I mean? So I remember looking straight up at it and just like, Oh my God, this shit is fucking insanely tall. <laughs> and and I don't know. I just remember thinking that and realizing, like, why the fuck am I thinking this? Like, I must be tripping. Like, starting to. And, um, because I had really not fried before this, the first time I had, the only time I had fried before this was at the beach, which I had talked about in the other video. So this is my second trip as well as my first bad trip. Um, so I don't know. I, we get into the, the palladium, which is where it's at. And I don't know. I just remember feeling like anxious, but then I always feel anxious before raves or at least I used to. And, um, so I didn't really think anything of it, but then I walked into the main stage and just, I remember just thinking like, oh my God, this shit is dope as fuck. I mean, I, which I always think most of the time at raves anyway, but then I started thinking like, oh my God, I just want to run in the fucking crowd and start dancing. Like it was like a, like a, like a different type of excitement. Like a, oh my, like this shit is fuck cracking. Like, oh shit. Ah! Like, I don't know. It was, it was a lot different. And, um, I don't know. It was like, I don't know. I don't know. It was just fucking crazy. And then, um, I don't, I don't know. It was kind of like a blur after that. Like, I, I, I don't really remember much until we started walking into this like side stage, which was called the champagne room. And the champagne room was literally no bigger than my garage. Like my garage is bigger than the champagne room was. And in there, but in there, it's like they had a DJ spinning and they had, um, mirrors across the whole entire like inside of it <laughs> so i remember we go in there and honestly at first i was just really excited and happy to be there i wasn't really tripping yet like i just felt like oh my god like blah, blah, blah. and then i remember getting in like a big like dance circle type thing <laughs> and doing this crazy dance that i didn't even know what the fuck i was doing i was just like <laughs> And fucking, I don't know, I guess it must look cool because people were telling me good job and shit after. But while they were telling me good job, I was just like, oh my god, I had actually just done it. And then I fucking just laid on the on the mirrors, like against the wall, and just remember like feeling like I was sinking into it or some shit. And then I remember like just some, like, I don't know, just like, oh my god, just feeling like I was going to throw up. Like my whole body was going to throw up. Like it was crazy. Like it was, it was, I don't know, it just started feeling like, like, I don't know, like when you get really drunk or something, you start spinning, I guess kind of like that, but more of like a mental like that. I don't know, it was weird. <laughs> so I remember after that, just like kind of like making my way to the other side of the stage where my brother was already on the ground, like sitting like against the mirror. I remember sitting next to him and just looking at him and he's just looking at me like, and I'm just looking at him like, <laughs> and then um, I remember just being like, fucking insane right there just like the tr as far as how my trip went like it was just like the way i was thinking and things i was thinking like were were fucking like psychotic like i remember thinking like people were like 
everybody had their own demon inside of them and I could like almost see it as they were walking around like with them and just like I don't know it was just fucking like crazy I remember thinking I was dying like I, or I was dead or I was about to die um just thinking like oh my god like thinking about every single different person that was there and feeling like I don't know like I don't know like there was just they were all evil like everyone in the whole rave was evil and we were all evil just doing like being like evil like psychotic <laughs> evil people <laughs> uh, and then um I remember actually like I remember everybody or not everybody I remember this one guy who had uh these really like bright glow sticks I and mean, they might not even have been that bright but um I remember he was just it wasn't like a light show with gloves it was like glow sticks which was dope I had never well, I, I had, I guess, I guess back then that was all I really knew. So it was dope either way. I remember him just like giving me like a evil light scare show type thing. And he had this crazy demon mask on and I was just sitting there like looking at it. Like, oh. And honestly, that, that made it like worse yet cooler at the same time. Cause then I realized like, oh my God, like this is just people like, then I kind of started realizing, oh my, like people are just tripping each other out. But then I went right back to just crazy psycho trip. And I honestly, I remember I was so fucked up. Like I had, I was, I had a friend of mine that was there and I remember just leaning on her, like almost for the first three hours, like, like walking around, like I was like drunk off my ass, like fucked up. And I remember even a certain part, I was like on this little hallway right in front of the bar. <laughs> and I remember like, these are the, it was like some of the strongest visuals I've ever had. And it was like, the bottles and the person, the bartender that was there, like they were literally glowing, like out, like two, three inches, like glowing, like fucking in, like, and not, I would close my eyes and look again and it would be there. Like no matter what, I could turn my head and it would still be there. Like it was like being in a fucking movie or 3D. I don't know, it was just fucking insane. I remember th being scared right there and making our way everywhere, thinking I was gonna throw up everywhere, never did. And uh, then I remember I had a pills and I didn't want to take them. I didn't want to take them at all because I felt like I was going to be more fucked up, which I guess kind of makes sense. But once I took my, I took ones because I figured maybe if I start rolling, I'll stop tripping a little bit. And then, so I took one and that's exactly what happened. Like I just started kind of rolling more. So I was just more up and like kind of happy, I guess, all tweaked out and shit. And then it kind of, so kind of balanced it all out. And um, that was all I did the entire night. And it was, and after that, it just kind of went and leveled out perfectly to a, like a, a really, really good night. Like show tech was amazing. Like it ended up being a real dope night, but a crazy ass one in the beginning. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it. That was my first bad trip ever. My first, my second trip ever. <laughs> so yeah. All right. Eight minutes already. Sorry. Peace out. Ha, ha, ha.